Very busy Tuesday afternoon here. The National Weather Service confirming a rare tornado on Cape Cod. We've had two touchdowns that we believe took place, and they resulted in quite a bit of damage. We'll show you in just a moment. 90, power, 90 mile per hour wind gust near Kalmus Beach and 17,000 customers without power on this Tuesday. So it's been a busy day. Here's the updated map of power outages now across Mid Cape. That seems to be right where the center of the damage was. Looks like uh, Yarmouth towards Hyannis and Mashpee, and that would make sense because that's where all of our storm reports have come in. Now, here's what it looked like on radar a few hours ago. So this is a, the traditional radar. You can see a little bit of a hook echo here that actually started out as a water spout south of the Cape down towards Long Island. Made its way about 90 miles onto shore. It may not have been uh, touching the water the entire time, but needless to say, a very violent cell that came on land. And you can see it on what we call a correlation coefficient. That's just a big fancy term for the radar measuring winds coming towards the center and moving away. And anytime you see these reds and greens and blues kind of right next to each other, that gives you an idea that there's some uh, significant rotation. And in this case, a rare tornado. I say rare because obviously we don't get them very often, but it can happen. So anytime people tell you you can't get tornadoes, in New England. That is definitely a myth. We do have them uh, once in a while and we've certainly had them today on the Cape. Here's a look at some damage that we've had. So this is in West Yarmouth. You can see a uh, roof taken off here at the Cape Sands Inn and uh, certainly some folks who are not going to be staying in their rooms tonight unfortunately. Here's what it looked like on radar earlier. So this is about late morning here 1130 towards noontime. You can see how those uh, storms kind of moved across the Cape. It's all due to a front that's just off the coastline. So that's that front that moved through Bridgewater uh, towards Sunday night. Of course, we had all that heat and humidity last weekend, but it's never really completely cleared the coastline. It's been hugging Cape Cod, and uh, here it is tonight just offshore. And we've had several waves of low pressure that have been moving along that front, keeping the atmosphere unstable. And so that's going to continue here over the next few hours down towards the Cape and down towards the south coast where they could still see some showers overnight. There could be a few renegade showers here as well. Now tomorrow, this front will finally slip a bit more off to the south and east. So I do think we're going to gradually dry things out here and stabilize the atmosphere just for a short time because things are going to start to get more warm and humid here as we approach the weekend. So for tonight, we will have again some scattered showers here, really isolated for Bridgewater area. They're more numerous as you go towards the south coast and the Cape with a low of around 62. Tomorrow, this is first thing in the morning for us. Could be a few showers around. Those will quickly evaporate and the sunshine will come out tomorrow and temperatures will rebound back up near 80 degrees. How about the rest of the week? Well, for your Thursday, we're going to mostly sunny skies and 81 and that will continue. Friday and Saturday, temperatures gradually warming to the mid 80s will be near 90 by the time we get to your Monday.